Welcome to Core Ross Boss Rainbow Six Siege Velvet Shell. This is a new defensive operator, Mira, who completely changes the meta of the game. So let's get started. Today we are looking at Black Mirror versus everything, and we're going to test with two circumstances Black Mirror on reinforced wall and Black Mirror on non reinforced wall. Ash versus Black Mirror on reinforced wall. So can an Ash get through a Black Mirror on a reinforced wall? The answer is no, it's busted. Ash versus Black Mirror on non-reinforced wall. So when you put a Black Mirror up on non-reinforced wall, the Ash charge will destroy the mirror completely and put a massive hole in the wall. So that is confirmed. Buck versus Black Mirror on reinforced wall. So as you can see here, we've got a reinforced wall with a Black Mirror in it, and we are putting shotgun round after shotgun round into it, and it won't even scratch the window. Like this stuff is made of some incredible glass like it won't even budge it is completely busted buck versus black mirror on non-reinforced wall so as you can see we can completely decimate the wall surrounding the mirror because of this we can in fact destroy the mirror so that is confirmed sledge versus black mirror on reinforced wall so on a reinforced wall the black mirror is completely impervious to sledge hitting it with a hammer you can go to town on this window and it is completely intact, so that is busted. Sledge versus Black Mirror on non-reinforced wall. So Pyrex was able to do this with one hit, which I wasn't able to recreate. I could not figure out how he did it in one hit. Somehow he was able to take the window out in one hit, but I couldn't. No matter how much I attempted to recreate it, I could not take out the window in one hit. It looked freaking cool though to see him do it. However, as Sledge, you can indeed take out all the wall around the window in that unreinforced panel and allow yourself to destroy the window by doing that. So that is confirmed. Glass versus Black Mirror on reinforced wall. So Glass, although he can shoot through the plane windows, he cannot shoot through this Black Mirror. It is busted. Glass versus Black Mirror on non-reinforced wall. So because Glass has amazing destruction these days, it means you can quite quickly and quite effectively, without using up too many rounds, you can actually shoot around the window and then take it out completely. Now, of course, it's not exactly practical, but it does mean that glass can technically destroy the window. So that is pretty cool and confirmed. Thermite versus Black Mirror on reinforced wall. So, of course, Thermite can get through the reinforced wall and he can destroy the window as well. Of course it's dangerous but it is confirmed. Hibana versus Black Mirror. So Hibana's charges are capable of destroying the window. You can even place them in a way that basically gives you a two for one on Hibana holes. So it's really handy for making a very big kill hole that is very powerful for you. So that's confirmed. Breaching charges versus Black Mirrors on non-reinforced walls. So as you can see a normal breaching charge is able to take out the window if it's on a non-reinforced wall so that's confirmed. Nitro Cell versus Black Mirror on non-reinforced wall. So as you can see here, we've got the Nitro Cell on the window and it actually kills the player behind it and it takes out the window as well. And this is great because of course the enemy can't actually see your Nitro Cell. So if you see someone walk up to it and it's on a non-reinforced wall, you can kill them that way, it's confirmed. Impact nades versus Black Mirror on non-reinforced walls. So even an impact grenade can take out a window on a non-reinforced wall, so that is confirmed. You can mirror trick to destroy Habana charges. So if Habana uses charges at the right height, you can actually use the mirror to destroy them. And it works incredibly well. So that is confirmed. You can mirror trick to destroy thermite charges. So we thought this is going to work just the same as it did with the Habana charges. So we put a thermite charge on our side of the wall and I slap up the mirror and the charge stays and it goes off. So let's actually see that from the other side. You'll see that the window punches out the hole, but the, the thermite charge doesn't give a damn. It just stays there. It's like, nope, I'm staying. So that is busted. Does the black mirror have a yellow light? So you'll see that there are three lights on the black mirror, one red, one green, and one in the middle. Now, I thought this kind of matches up with breaching charges. You have a green light for a breachable surface that you can go through. You have a red light for a non-breachable surface and then you've got a yellow light for a breachable surface that has something in the way like metal bars. So I thought that means there's probably some place that you can place this window that has metal bars. So I went to house and yep, check this out. 
here is a window with metal bars through it. So this is pretty cool. Kind of useless, but I thought it was cool. So it's confirmed. A Twitch drone can open a black mirror. So a well-placed Twitch drone shot on the canister will pop the window and allow enemies to shoot in. A nitro cell can open a black mirror. So a well-placed nitro cell can it actually destroy the canister and allow the window to be opened. We tried this at even point blank range with the nitro cell and it was unable to affect the canister. The canister seems to only be affected by physical objects, so that's busted. A grenade can open a black mirror. So of course, a grenade has an explosive reaction, but it also sends out shrapnel that can destroy stuff like that floor panel that got blown up there. However, it doesn't seem to, or at least we couldn't get it to affect the canister whatsoever. So you're not gonna be using this as a tactic to open the windows that is busted. A fuse charge can open a black mirror. So we've got a black mirror below this fuse charge and we're attempting to blow up the canister. Now, the range on the fuse charges are huge. So they're definitely landing within range of the canister, but they are having no effect on the canister whatsoever. I even get killed by my own charge. The range is that crazy. So that is busted. An EMP can open a black mirror. So of course we threw some EMPs at the windows. You can see the canisters are completely intact. They don't have any electrical components and even physically impacting them on the canister would not work. So that is busted. Bandit can electrify a wall with a black mirror in it. Now, if a Hibana charge goes off on a reinforced wall, you can no longer electrify it. So what happens if there's already a black mirror making a hole in a reinforced wall? Can you actually electrify it even though there is a hole in the actual wall? And as you can see with here, Bandit comes up, we've got the mirror installed in the wall and he is electrifying it. So you can indeed electrify it. And of course, there's a lot of benefits to doing that. So that is confirmed. Hibana versus electrified black mirror. So of course, you've got a big sheet of glass here, but when it's electrified, the Hibanas will actually be destroyed, which is of course very useful for the defenders. But for, unfortunately for Hibana, that means it's busted. Backpack and glass on helmet are not part of Mira's hitbox. So just like some of the other operators in the game, the glass on her helmet is not part of her hitbox. And when a picture of her was leaked out earlier, everyone thought she was gonna have really big hitbox and she was gonna be terrible because of this. In fact, her backpack isn't even part of her hitbox. And actually looking at her, for a three armor operator, she is incredibly small. She actually has a very small hitbox overall, making her a very hard target to hit. And even part of her kind of uh, helmet on her ears isn't part of her hitbox as well. You can see these rounds look like they should definitely be hitting her. However, of course, you can still kill someone by hitting them in the helmet. So that is confirmed. The glass and backpack are not part of the hitbox. You can be flashed through a black mirror. So of course, if you can see the enemy and they flash you, you do indeed get flashed. Now, if you then switch sides, so you're looking at the black side of the mirror, not being able to see the flash on the other side, then this happens. You don't get flashed. We could see Blitz's little flash go off, but we didn't actually get flashed by it, so that's confirmed. You can be melee through a black mirror. So this is just like the windows on plane. They're indestructible, but if you are meleeing them, part of your body will clip through and then you can get melleed or even shot. So you gotta watch out for that. No melee in these windows. So that is confirmed. You can place black mirrors in terrible places. So you really have to watch out when you are placing these mirrors because sometimes you can place them in completely useless areas where you can literally only see the wall in front of you, which of course is no use and there's quite a few places on quite a few maps where you can do this so watch out for that and uh, that is confirmed so thank you guys very much for watching this velvet shell episode there will be another velvet shell episode coming very soon which will be all about jackal and a few surprise changes to the game so thank you very much for watching guys i will catch you next time